What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an interior modification for your 05 to 14 Mustangs that I feel every Mustang owner should do. When it comes to the interior styling and appeal on these cars, Ford really dropped the ball. Now as some of you can recall from a couple videos ago, I repainted the interior trim panels on my, uh, the dash panels here on my car. And as you can see, some of them didn't really turn out the greatest, but the splatter paint turned out amazing. I love it. But you know what? I'm fine with the way this turned out because the whole reason that I did this, and I believe I mentioned it in that video, is that it needed a nice, uh, smooth, clean surface. And some of the paint that was on there was real flaky. So I did it because of the trim interior modification we're doing today. And that is right here, you guys. These carbon fiber overlays, they are going to look so sweet on the car. And unfortunately, this is not from Dyna Performance, but it is from uh, Amazon and they are pretty expensive still so i'm really excited to get these on the car and today is the perfect day to do it because it's nice and warm and you can see that they're nice and warm too they're real flexible and that's exactly what you want to have that way they don't come peeling off of the panels the reason you want it to be really nice and warm is because this red adhesive well the adhesive underneath this that's like the 3m a lot of you are probably familiar with it but you want it to be really warm so that it gets a really good adhesion like it's got to get a good bond and it's not going to do that if it's cold and we're also going to have to clean these panels up so i'm going to go grab my cleaner and we'll get after it all right guys so just like in my last video with the windows uh, side louvers i'm going to use this 91 percent isopropyl alcohol put it on a microfiber towel and we're just going to clean these panels off that we're getting ready to stick all this carbon fiber to just got to make sure you get it really clean that way you get a nice good bond with your adhesive so you don't get your panels peeling back off the next morning when you come out to drive your car <laughs> that would not be cool once the adhesive is ruined, uh, you pretty much have to start over. I don't know if you can take the adhesive off of those pieces and put some new on them, or if you just have to buy new pieces, but I don't really want to find out. So I'm going to get it as clean as I possibly can, and then we'll get them carbon fibers installed. All right, so once we've got everything nice and clean, let's pull the carbon fiber out of the package, and now we got to peel this piece off on the back side. But before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead well, actually, I'm going to peel this off and then I'm going to use my heat gun over here and warm it up just a little bit more. The sun warmed it up quite a bit. I had them all laying on the back window in the sun, so it warmed them up pretty good already. But I want to take it just a little farther to make sure that it has an extra bond. Because I definitely do not want them trying to peel off. And this stuff is hard to get off of here. You gotta be real careful not to touch the other side of the stuff here with your fingers because then it really won't want to stick. It's on there pretty good. There ain't no joke about that. It kind of makes me feel confident about whether it's gonna stick good or not. I think it will stick really well, but like I said, I'm gonna grab my heat gun here, put it on a lower setting, and yeah, I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit. I want this to be nice and flimsy. And I wanted to adhere to that dash panel really well. Alright, now it's time to apply this guy. Gotta be really careful. <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting. Try to get it lined up just right on there because I don't want there to be a gap right here. Dang it. This is really hard to do, you guys. Okay, there we go. I think I'm getting it now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now it's on there. <laughs> oh, man, I think it stuck really well, too. That's awesome. Dang, that looks really good. Oh, there's an the air bubble underneath it. Uh oh, dang. I guess you gotta be careful of that. I got a pretty good air bubble under it right here. There it goes. Nice, oh, still wants to try to be there. Right here in the center. Ah. Still a little bit of an air bubble right there. Just go away already. All right, so definitely be mindful of that. It likes to have little air pockets. So 
we gotta make sure we rub it down flat as we're laying it down I think I got all of it out of that one all right that looks really awesome now that that one's on time for number two there we go that looks really awesome so far just have to clean it up when it's all done I think I'm gonna give it a little bit more heat while it's on there just try to get it to stick a little bit more I'm feeling pretty confident about it but I just I just want to make sure not too much heat it's it actually warms up pretty fast all right yeah I love it that looks awesome all right now time to move on to the next piece ah get this peeled off come on there we go heat it up a little bit don't heat your hand up <laughs> All right, here we go. Time to put this bad boy on here. Oh, oh, don't stick up top yet. Don't stick up top yet. Maybe down low first. Work that in there. And that looks good. Nice. Yeah, that looks really good. Now this piece is going to be interesting because as you can see it's pretty flimsy and you got to work it all the way up inside that top piece there but no worries guys we got this Well, that wasn't so bad, guys. It's in there, and it looks really good. <laughs> I think I got air bubbles all out of it. Now I just gotta get this little centerpiece in. It goes right here. Oh, I guess it goes like that. So I'll get that peeled and stuck in there, and then we can move on to the very last piece. Last piece. Peel it, heat it, stick it. done all right so now at this point we're just going to clean it up with whatever interior cleaner you choose to use for now i'm just using some uh turtle wax that's what i got i haven't ordered anything online yet which i really want to but just haven't got around to it yet but we'll get it all nice and cleaned up and then we'll check out how it really turned out you guys all right guys so it's done and to be honest with you it doesn't actually uh, hug these edges as tight as you would think it would all the way around like it'll get it pretty good in one spot and then the nose spot it'll be kind of gapped out but you just kind of have to line it up the best you can and like i said it matched this really really well i think it looks cool enough it's time to do a little cinematic So that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys if you made it this far ring that bell so i know you're there if you enjoyed today's content smash that like button leave your thoughts and comments down below let me know what you guys want to see next as far as modifications on the car don't forget to subscribe on your way out and just like that we'll catch you guys in the next one